So May is a time when there is incredible biodiversity in bloom, flowering. As you can see, the Copper Beach looks gorgeous next to the Hawthorne. But what I want to talk about is how everybody says you shouldn't mulch mow. Well, this is the center of our driveway and we mulch mow it most of the time. I would not be surprised if there are 30 different species of plants in, from where the cat is to where I am, there probably easily is. Let's see, buttercup, plantain, uh, purple clover or red clover. There's yellow clover. There's uh, a dandelion. There's a hawkweed. There's, uh, oh, I can't remember what that one's called. Um, another kind of clover. Then to talk of grasses, there's a bit of rye grass. Then there's a bit of um, hungry grass. There's a bit of cocksfoot. There's a white clover there. There's, um, let's see, oh, there's an evening primrose, um, daisies. There's, uh, let's see, the cat is still there. Yeah, the cat's still there. Um, here's another grass. I think this is one of the fescues. I've lost count. I don't know how many. There's oxide daisy. This is right there. There's an oxide daisy. Um, there's shepherd's purse. Uh, there's broadleaf plantain there. We've already seen the narrow leaf plantain. Um, let's see. Bird's foot trefoil. Um, da, 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 da. This is, um, uh, it's one of the hawkweeds. I can't think of it's what it's called. Um, this is more oxide daisy, more narrow plantain. That's another different kinds of grass. Um, another kind of dandelion. Um, there's um, scabious. This right here, that's a uh, kind of scabious. Uh, let's see. A different kind of uh, dandelion. There's a seed tree seedling. There's uh oh this is um what's it called not cat's ear not mouse ear i can't remember what that one's called this kind of particular dandelion character and there's the cat oh salad burnet if we want to choose which cat we're going to come up to there's salad burnet uh yarrow um if we come a little bit further okay we're gonna oh look there's more, this is more salad burnet. Here's salad burnet flowering. If we come up to here, here's a load of mouse ear. It's a kind of in the dandelion family, dandelion um, sunflower fan family. So that is a huge variety of species. And this is mulch mode regularly throughout the years. And this year I decided to let it go and see what it would do. And it has been phenomenal. Oh, and let's not forget, if we're talking about species, there's several different kinds of mosses. They're all kind of dried at the moment because there's lack of rain. So incredible variety of species. Oh, look, I missed that. Oh, that's a purple, uh, a red clover. There's some, there are some vetches in here. I just haven't spotted them as I'm going along. But uh, yeah, so biodiversity does not need to be strip mode or any of those kind of things. This is, our seed bank is incredibly biodiverse and there's easily, easily 30 different species in this stretch of the driveway. And that's not including, you know, what's on either side. Okay, there's a cherry tree. But along there, there's vetches and hungry grass and uh, all the different grass heads. Look at all the different grass heads. So this is the hungry grass, which is one of my favorites. But look at, you can see, 
you can see that is different from that is different from that is different from let's see here's another one here's another one so there's biodiversity mulch mowing um, is fine this is this is biodiversity a, a great example that is mulch mode and is um, very much relevant look at all the different grasses here different grasses and different flowers you can see the seed heads are all different see there's that one that one that one this one down here what is that that's five and the hungry grass scabias so biodiversity it's there if you allow it and you don't need to starve it of food mulch mowing is fine mulch mowing is fine that's what we do look at that the oxide daisies are beginning to flower here <laughs>